Hello, my name is John Kelly and this is the Weber Auto YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn how to check the automatic transmission fluid level on a 2010 Ford Mustang GT. This has the 4.6 liter engine and the 5R55S 5 speed automatic transmission. This automatic transmission does not have a dipstick. Instead, it uses the standpipe method of checking the fluid level inside the pan. This standpipe is the drain plug in the bottom of the oil pan of the transmission. But you'll notice there's a hole in the middle of it there where another plug goes. So if you want to drain all the fluid out of this transmission, you take this big plug out. If you just want to check the transmission fluid level, then you have to precondition the transmission uh, and the transmission fluid to the proper temperature get the engine at the proper RPM, run the gear shifter through all the gears uh, to circulate fluid through all the places it needs to be inside the transmission. And then you remove this center plug at that point, as long as you're at the right fluid temperature, if the transmission was overfilled, fluid will overflow and come out the bottom of the drain plug. If no fluid comes out, then you need to add the, the proper fluid and add too much fluid so that it does come out. Uh, the proper fluid for this particular transmission is the Mercon 5 uh, automatic transmission fluid. Now sitting right beside me here I have the Ford IDS scan tool software set up and we are monitoring the transmission fluid temperature. Right now it is showing 113 degrees. Now the, in the instructions for checking the fluid level for this transmission uh, it tells us that the fluid temperature needs to be between 80 degrees and 120 degrees Fahrenheit uh, or 27 to 49 uh, Celsius. And then the engine RPM needs to be around 650. And then, as I said before, move the gear selector through all the gears, put it in park, make sure it's on a level hoist, and pull that plug. So let's do that on this on this vehicle here. Okay, we've got the vehicle lifted on the hoist and right behind uh, my head here, as you can see, is the transmission oil pan. And in that oil pan, if we zoom in, is the drain plug, this outer piece, and then the transmission fluid level check plug, the inner piece. And so, once we get it up to the proper temperature, we are going to have to use a hand wrench to hold the outer plug from rotating while we loosen the inner plug with a number 27 Torx bit. So once again, the procedure is start the engine, let it idle, run it through all the gear ranges, let it idle again pull that plug and see if fluid comes out or not. It's very important that the engine stay running through this entire procedure. Now you're not going to have a lot of time because as soon as the fluid temperature hits 120 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, the fluid has expanded too far and you've got to stop and let it cool down and go again. So we have to be very quick at doing this. Go ahead and start it whenever you're ready. Now we're going to take it through all the gear ranges, stopping for a few seconds in each gear range. Our fluid temperature has come down 102 with the engine running. Okay, we're in park. We're at 102 on the fluid temperature. So now we're going to take the plug out. That inner plug is only tightened to 89 inch pounds, not foot pounds. So it's not very tight. And just double check our temperature again. 105, 107. So we are within that 80 to 120 degree range. So now we'll just take the, the plug out. In this case, 
we are not getting any fluid coming out of the transmission which means either it is too low or it's just right but we don't know uh, which one it is so at this point we have to shut it off and add fluid uh, back to the transmission but we can't shut it off unless we put the the plug back in so let me grab the plug Okay, with no fluid coming out of the fluid level check plug with the engine running and the fluid at the proper temperature, uh, we don't know if the fluid level is too low or if it's at the right uh, fluid level. Uh, that little bit that came out was just what was stuck in the, this tube itself above the plug, uh, but nothing came out afterwards. So uh, the instructions uh, in the Ford service information tell us tell us to use a special service tool and I tried to buy that special service tool it's no longer available and so I called Ford uh, service and they said that there is a new uh, tool that replaces the previous one and it's from Mighty Vac and it's this great big uh, pressurized fluid tank with a quick connect fitting on it and it that goes with this adapter kit right here and part of this adapter kit has this pipe right here this pipe right here that threads right into the bottom of that drain plug and then we have a quick connect fitting for that pressurized uh, tank full of the proper transmission fluid and then you just connect the hose the quick connect fitting hose to this pipe and pump fluid in with the engine running uh, and then take the, the quick connect fitting off and wait for the fluid to finish dripping uh, out and then you then you will be at the proper fluid level uh, this kit also comes with uh, adapters for other uh, vehicle manufacturers. All right, so let's hook this up and actually do it on this vehicle. So we have to have the engine running when we pull this plug out to put the adapter pipe from the Mighty Vac kit up in it. All right, so I'm going to screw in the the adapter. Now I'm going to connect the quick connect fitting from the Modivac adapter right there. And then the Modivac adapter needs to be pressurized. It has a hand pump that you just pump it up with the proper fluid in. You got to remember that the fluid that's in this pressurized tank may not be the correct fluid that you need for your transmission. Okay, I've got it pressurized. I'm going to open the valve and run some fluid in. It's better to run too much fluid in than not enough. All right, that ought to do it. So now when I disconnect this quick connect fitting, Whatever comes out was the overage of fluid. Huh. So we've still got a slow drip. That tells us it needs more fluid still. We'll open up our valve and let more fluid flow in. We are at 100 degrees. Adding that new fluid has cooled it down just a little bit. So we are adding room temperature fluid. Our room temperature is about 85. We're up to 104 on the transmission fluid temperature. 
This is several quarts low. All right, let's check it again. There we go. Now we've got the fluid coming out. Like it should. So now I can take out the adapter. Put the plug back in. Torque it to the 89 inch pounds while keeping upward pressure on it because it's a, one of those ridiculous torques bits. There we go. Clean everything off. And we are good to go. Let's just double check our fluid temperature. Make sure we didn't exceed anything. We did not. We're still at 105, 107. So that is the proper method of checking the fluid level on a 2010 Ford Mustang with the 5R55S automatic transmission. Uh, any Ford product with that same 5-speed transmission without a dipstick would be checked this same way. You always want to verify that you are running the fluid at the correct temperature for that vehicle. They may not all be at the same temperature range. The transmission that replaced this in later model Mustangs is the 6R80 transmission. And it also does not have the dipstick that most people are used to. It does have a dipstick, but it's this short little tiny thing that you still have to lift the vehicle up and get to from underneath. So they've gone away from this standpipe method of checking the fluid uh, to, I'm not sure, a better or easier method of checking the fluid with this little tiny dipstick that comes in from on top of the oil pan uh, casting area. Um, so be aware of that. As soon as I get access to one of those, I'll show you how to check the fluid level on those. This has been a demonstration of checking the fluid level on a Ford Mustang without a dipstick. Thank you for watching. <laughs>